Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 72. It's kind of chilly in here, so I have my blanket on, my hair is up. I know I don't look great, but that's not that. What matters? Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> Parashani! What? You shouldn't run. Didn't you say her ladyship was ill? <laughs> she seems well. What a relief. Oh? I called the priest because she wasn't baptized when she was born. Uh, she can't go to church in her state for now. So. Oh. Baptized? What's that? <laughs> it means that we're blessing your birth. Let's sit down for a moment, shall we? Uh, Please continue. It's fine that her grace stays. Oh. Oh, okay. He mentioned a partnership with the church. They must be looking to discuss that. I'll be outside with a study. Please continue. D did you do this too? Of course. I feel like I washed my hair. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 72. Sorry if I keep on glancing this way, it's because my baby is taking a nap and he's kind of moving and stirring a little bit right now and I want to make sure he's okay. Three days later. Mm hmm? May I help you? Uh, I have something to discuss, Your Grace. This feels familiar. Huh? You talked about traveling back in time, did you not? To tell you the truth, I didn't believe it. I did figure. With Asleti's tale, it's easy to make the story up. I thought you were rather skilled at telling lies as if they were true. Going back in time is an absurd absurdity to begin with. However, we found a similar case while investigating the servants working at our cousin's manor. Early last spring. That's the period you mentioned. A lady's maid suddenly asked for a change of position. She insisted she wished to clean chimneys instead. She persuaded the cleaner herself and asked the manager several times. The estate manager at the time was curious, but decided to grant her the position change. Is rather odd, is it not? Why would she insist on doing something so laborious when she was already in a more comfortable position? Uh, then what happened to the cleaner who switched positions with her? Right. He died after a few days. He was exposed to our blood. Uh, why would he tell me this? He doesn't trust people easily. Don't. Tell me. Please don't look at me like that. I found this out with some co co coaxing. How do you say that word? Hold on. Coaxing, which means persistent, gentle persuasion. Gently and persistently persuasive. I found this out with some coaxing and minor threats. I did, I did not experiment on them with our blood. Everyone had a different way of being exposed to the curse, but the pain, the time, the memories. She shared the same elements with you and Asleti. Thus far, I thought our curse was a form of genetic disease. 
The painkiller does work to a certain extent. My brother was born with particularly toxic blood. Same goes for my eldest cousin and Selfie. Ken married each other once, that's all, but that itself had an impact on the curse. Oh. I figured the curse was a form of genetic illness and intensified by incestuous marriage. I truly did not want to believe this, but it seems something supernatural is certainly at play. It's not that we ruled out superstitious matters in our investigation, but as you well know, almost no documents exist on that matter, and investigating it itself could be a problem. I didn't want to waste my time on something groundless. Minimizing the pain from our blood itself was a handful for me. Is that why the priest came by? Yes. We're going to conduct a thorough investigation before it's too late. I thought you should know. Uh, I'm Lord Venus' daughter? Yes, you're going to leave with me soon. Oh, good for you, Esladi. I want to be Parashati's sister. You will be, even as my daughter. Well, this is a rather complex relationship. Uh, hmm. We're going to start the investigation at the Capitol and then broaden the scope. And I'll be leaving with Eslati. It's time she goes out into the world. I've been avoiding my responsibility, making excuses that I'm busy with my research on the curse. Fortunately, I managed to leave home and avoid marriage as a young man. So, now it's time I take responsibility for at least one thing. So he meant he'll adopt a slutty. Your grace. The supplies you ordered arrived. The housekeeper is requesting your confirmation. May I escort you there? Certainly. This feels awkward. Same here. I went back to my hometown with my father during my leave. I met my sister. I hadn't seen her in ages. Girls, that's enough. They didn't get to go on leave. It's fine, don't mind us. We're finally done working the stables. <laughs> I thought I'd never get to set foot in the manor again. I swear I'll be forever loyal to her grace. Why did that silly girl say such nonsense in the presence of the young master? Did you see those two checking the delivery? They seemed to be fine. Divorce? Rubbish. Exactly. I hear she's moved to the young master's resident. I'm never talking to her again. She wrote a letter to me a while back. She said she could only write reports for her grace and a letter to me. And even those had to be thoroughly examined. She wore, swore she'll be careful from now on. She deserves more punishment. I mean, why did we have to take the blame? You could have say, say those things because you didn't want to go through what we did. Still, you made it back. Besides, we'll have a lighter workload from now on. The housekeepers at the former Grand Duchess and family doctor were leaving. Our positions will be sh shuffled again. Uh, really? Yippee, I'm so glad. Things weren't that difficult thanks to having more staff, but running into the nobles makes me nervous. Exactly. And what? And that's what I call more workload. Yeah. 
You all should watch your mouths from now on. Your punishments and hers were far lighter compared to what you did. It's all thanks to her grace, so let's work and be grateful. <laughs> you too. Stop crying. No. For servants, they're in, is that their meal or that's something that they, they are preparing for the Duchess and Grand Duke? We gathered here to celebrate your return. Now, let's eat. Oh, all right. Wow, that's a lot of food. It looks delicious. And when we're finished, someone remind me to return the key to the kitchen girl. Sure. Your memory, memory is as shoddy as ever. None of this would have happened if her memory was like yours. Come on, let's cut her some slack just this once. <laughs> Well, I really do hope she learns her lesson, but ooh, all right. It's it's like a awkward but a sweet read, you know. Anyways, uh, my brain is kind of foggy right now. It's a rainy day. I'm tired, but I'm gonna try to record as many as I can. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!